Alrighty, we're up in northern Wisconsin, about to go on the old chirp ride. Fairly substantial amount of ice, I believe, but I am not sure. We will see. Let's see if I can push the right button here. Chirp is raring to go. I got both heaters on right now. I think we're in for some fun. We're going to go probably, my guess is, four or five miles up the flowage. Um, and we might even go deer hunting. We'll have to see. Alright, so here we go. We are right now just getting off the flowage, going on a small little river. We have no idea how thick the ice is, but we think it's thick enough. It's probably about 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside, a little bit overcast. Tomorrow we are expecting up to a foot of snow. So we never did get all the snow that we were expecting to get. We only got a couple of inches. You'll see that in a little while uh, the following day. Uh, this is just sped up 20 times the normal speed. This is going, I would guess, approximately, oh, I don't know, I'd say three, four miles um, up this river here. Never really determined how thick the ice actually was in this location. My guess, it was not that thick. There was times when we were driving and you could hear the ice cracking, so my guess it was just like two, possibly three inches thick. Again, even though the Sherp um, is a fairly big unit, really the overall footprint or the amount of pressure that's put on a specific area is pretty light. It's about the same as a regular person walking. Um, maybe a little bit more, depends. Here we just happen to be taking a little bit of journey here too. Just take a note that the peanut butter that we have to have along on the trip, along with plenty of snacks. Okay, we're off and running. In case we break down. Like this. Again, I thought I'd speed it up here a little bit. Uh, going through a river becomes very small, becomes very large. Uh, some some places the water is fast moving, but most of it is going fairly slow. Uh, gravel bottom, the majority of it. Uh, there we went underneath a bridge, and that was actually quite a tight squeeze. Uh, the first time we went underneath it, we thought we were going to hit the top, so we didn't take as much time going through the second time, anyhow. Here we're plopping over a couple of trees that just happen to be over this little slough that's back there, but nothing really too crazy. Just really just enjoying the area. We were trying to see if we could see a lot of deer tracks, and we were going to attempt to possibly go bow hunting, but we really didn't see a lot. Only coyote tracks, so we kind of skipped that, and uh, we just got up here to the head part of the river and thought we would go for a little spin here. Um, Got Rand out, and he was kind enough to do a little videotaping of me. The water here, there's a bar that comes up like a big, big gravel bar. And on both sides of the gravel bar, it kind of drops off quite a bit. Didn't really spend that much time here. Kind of just zipped through here. Look at that ice. It's only an inch or two thick. Maybe that water right there is three inches, somewhere around there. Basically, it's a big, large gravel bar that goes across this, and on both sides, there's some significant drop-offs. There, I'm going to drop off, pop them back up on the ice, and let the shirt pop them back up on the ice. I don't know of any vehicle that can do that. Small little tree I plopped over, nothing too crazy. That pretty much concludes day one. From here, we just putted around and tried to look for more deer tracks, and were not successful. Pretty much called it a day.
this will work. Try to switch it around here. You can actually see the lights. So that's high beam. And that's low beam. To me, there's absolutely no difference when you actually look at it um, in, from inside of the cab. Here, I'll show you the other way. So we'll flip her. That is low beam. That is high beam. To me, it looks the exact same. So let's go right here once. Turn off the inside light. So what does the Sherp look like at night? Got a little bit of snow last night, as we knew. Yeah, this is what I do in the North Woods. Just hang out in the Sherp. While others are putting out the tip-ups. Egg, this ran down. We're about to go out on the Sherp again, up the river. He's caught a couple. One was a perch, and the other was a walleye. Looks like that one is a walleye. Not sure if it is or not. What is it? Hey, let's see. Okay. Get him. Well, that pretty much concludes this little adventure in northern Wisconsin. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish I would have taken some videos, some things that I didn't, and I wish I wouldn't have taken some of the video that I did. But I'm learning on this adventure. Appreciate everybody who's subscribing and liking the videos, if in fact you like the videos. Appreciate all the comments, any suggestions that you'd like to see with a shirt. Love to hear it. Take care, and again, thanks for subscribing.